Hi everyone, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Tex Murphy Under a Killing Moon. It's me, Dia, and it's been a minute. Um, the last time we left off, Tex Murphy just had had just uh, stolen a, a a a bird statuette and on on a job uh, from a high tech. Uh, in-home uh, art vault, basically, and upon returning home, um, had the shit beaten out of him by what appeared to be Russell Means until Russell Means shapeshifted into a besuited white man, and Tex woke up, and uh, well, we're here now. We're short a bird statue, and uh, we're we're covered in uh, face cream. Too, that'll help um, make us look like a human being and also hopefully heal our battered face a little bit better. Um, so yeah, so God only knows what is, uh, where we go next. <laughs> um, we're gonna have to remember, uh, I'm gonna have to remember how to play this game for starters. Why is it? Come on, there we go. Um, I'm in your active mode. I want to do something. The game will do something. Maybe. Oh, 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 now we're, now we're in all kinds of doing shit mode. Okay, so it's space bar. There we go. For some reason, it wasn't working. But now... The scotch guard that Rudy's upholstering service put on my office chairs will stand up to anything. And I ought to know. There we go. That's, uh, that's tax. Uh, there's some footprints on the The ground. office was actually a dance studio before I moved in. Oh, yeah. And Latin dancing is a Murphy family tradition. Okay. Well, hmm... I guess... Let's go out and see if anyone's seen anything. Ooh, whoa, whoa. So, so speedy. There we go. Let's just slow it down a little bit, Tex. Let's go outside. Nice and easy. There we go. Are we gonna, are we gonna walk backwards down the stairs? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying this game. I will be happy to no longer be in an era where this is a mode of interaction that is considered acceptable. Um, well, okay, so let's see. Let's go talk to our newsstand gal. Chelsea's a hot little number. Yeah, okay. I hear she's a mutant, but it doesn't show. The only weird thing about her is she won't go out with me. That's the most normal thing about her. Talk to me, handsome. Ask about, did you see who beat the shit out of me? Um, more. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Getting back to this inter interface is very special. Uh, mugging. Sorry, Tex. I, I didn't see a thing. You know, I'll let you know if I hear anything. There's kind of this weird, like... You know, we didn't have an actual conversation with her, so we just get this, this, you know, kind of FMV dialogue from her where I guess we have to assume that, like, we have to fill in all of the Tex Murphy explaining about getting mugged and walking up to her looking like, you know, hammered shit and everything going on there. Sorry, I haven't heard anything about that. Which is interesting, because, like, now, you know, with, like, the kind of later fm like full fmv games we get these you know full scenes playing out and then in bioware we get you know the text selection that becomes a full dialogue you know that like we click on away and then you know hawk responds in purple hawks you know snarky sarcastic fashion um we just kind of assume the dialogue will flow from roughly what we've chosen <clears throat> But here we get to fill it in just completely how Tex is going to kind of react and, and respond to these prompts that we're feeding him. Look, I don't discuss that name, and either should you. You want to keep breathing. Well, we kind of fucked that one up already. 
I don't know how you're going to find him, but if you do, be careful. Okay. Wish I could help you there, Tex. Okay. Well, Chelsea's a nice, sweet gal who doesn't involve herself in any of that nonsense. Um, we can try Rooks. We can try the electronic shop. I remember. Then we go. Ooh, we're going to just zip around all over the place. What is over here? And there. Mule car. Ooh, we're having some, some cool graphical problems over there. That's. Um, what is this? The restaurant? Okay. Yeah, What's what on know? your mind? What do you know, my guy? Franny told me you got whacked. I haven't heard any word on the street about who would have done it. Okay, so we got to talk to Franny. His, uh, this is his ex-wife? I think that was a deal. Sorry, Mife. Can't help you there. I've heard his name, but I don't know anything about him. Okay. So that's not helpful. We gotta go away over here. It's across the street, right? Isn't that yeah, the pizza bar? Doesn't she run it? She's hot for us, so maybe she'll give us an answer. Oh, Tex, there we why go. can't all the men be like you? <laughs> Mock humility, cocky chauvinism, will reveal the true PI persona. You really don't want all men to be cynical alcoholics with large, painful bumps on their heads, do you? Oh, you poor dear. They hit you pretty hard, didn't they? <laughs> Tender-hearted martyr. Oh, it's not too bad. My head's almost stopped bleeding. I just wish I could find out who hit me. Oh, you poor darling. Listen. I think I might be able to help you, but I need a favor from you first. I saw you get jumped last night. Sal told me to keep quiet and that telling you would put my life in danger. But I'm willing to talk if you'll give me some proof that Sal is having an affair. Then I could divorce him and get some of the money he's been hiding away all these years. Now, no shade to Sam Barlow and Immortality, uh, Game of the Year, Immortality. But if to really elevate Immortality to the realm of art, it needs to look like this. I'm sorry, Sam, if you're watching this, you know, much respect, much love. Um, but why doesn't Immortality look like this? Why doesn't it have an interact, you know, an interface like this? Hmm? I'm just asking questions. I'm just provoking, you know, critical dialogue. Now let's shake on it. You drive a hard bargain, Francesca. But I need a lead on my case, so I'll see what I can dig up on Sal. I don't know anything about the girl Sal is seeing. I've gone through his things, but haven't been able to find anything except for this note. I think it's meant to be a coded message. I'm sorry I don't have anything more for you to work with. Let me know when you've got something. Okay, so we got... Oh, it looks like we got part of a coded... We got a note from Francesca. Let's take a look at this. Let's examine it. We got to find Sal's mistress. And let's see. So Z equals A, J equals B, S equals C, G equals D. <laughs> Who would write down their cipher like this? Um... So we've got we've got a cipher. We need a we need a note now is what we need. Um, so let's can I go over to Sal's. Is it gonna be Sal? We gotta go over to Sal's, I guess. Let's go. Is this the Sal's Sal runs Brewers, right? Or that's a deal. Anyway, don't know. Someone here's got to know. What's happening? We're talking to no one. Hmm. Huh. 
Right, tell me about Sal. As a matter of fact, oh. he just left. <sighs> he just You'd probably left. be interested to know that he tore up a note. I thought that was Sal all this trash. time. That's not Sal. Louie tells me he just took the garbage and dumped it in the trash can just outside <laughs> the brewing stew. Yeah, that's that's right. That's Louie, not Sal. Okay, so he took the trash and he jumped, dumped it. So we got to go look at the trash, I guess. All right. Um... Okay. So let's just go. No one's asking about anything. We need to go uh, check out the trash. It's one of the easiest, straightforward puzzle solving we've had to do. Here's a trash can. Look at that. This is where Louie throws out the garbage. That street people come from miles around to sample Louie's award-winning leftovers. Oh, no. Well, that's not going to work. Yeah, I want you to open it. There we go. This is where Louie throws out the garbage. Yep. Street people... Aha. There we go. Uh, let's see. So we can, we can examine these. Oh my god, this is amazing! This is the this is the best fucking puzzle to move the notes scrap. Press down, hold the left mouse button, and slide the mouse to move the scrap. To rotate the notes scrap, press and hold down the left button. Press the left and right arrow key. This is so unnecessarily complicated. Okay, there we go. Wa Waluigi, Waluigi did it. Okay, this goes up at the top, right? Or is that? Yeah, it's got to be. I guess it doesn't need to be the top. That's not super straight. Let's find the edges first, right? Okay, this has got to be the bottom edge right over here. Where does it go? I guess... Oh, okay, we've got a... We've got a thing. This might tell us when we're done? Hmm. That looks like it could go over here, right? Did it go over in that corner? Yeah. All right, this is, this is such a good puzzle. I am so excited about this puzzle. This is like one of the best puzzles in a video game ever I think this one looks like it might go up here I don't know let's try it up there for now love oh wait did that did that, did that right there I think that's the right that's a match that's totally a match right there um, and then this one's down here so oh, wait is that no that's not it there goes this way uh, no mm hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. Zewisuxel. Love. There's a lot of love going on. Okay. This one. This one. Service. Service. Service merchandise. Wait. Oh, wait. Same font size. Regency. Regency service. Oh, yeah. That. Because that's a t little tiny corner piece. So this goes up here. Yeah. Where's, we got we got more writing like that. That one piece. It's fine. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Regency Escort Service. Aha. Okay, that's a little bit. That's we gotta, we gotta line that up a little better. There we go. Regency Escort Service. Salvatore. What are you doing, my guy? Sal, Sal you, you out here? What you got here with floozies? Is that going to go there? No, I don't like it. It goes there. I don't, I don't know where this piece goes just yet. We'll figure that one out. We've got this love love over here. we got this YV. Wait, does that go up here? Ah, aha. Here we go. Here we go. We're solving puzzles. Oh, we're so smart. I like this puzzle. This puzzle makes me feel smart. It makes me feel like I know what I'm doing. Um, a lot of puzzles don't do that shit like that. See, this is interesting because I'm like, I'm like, no, it goes, it goes like here. <laughs> it doesn't go there. <laughs> um, okay, now I'm feeling less smart now. Wait, wait, no, that doesn't go there. What about XP? Someone's leveling up. Okay, let's. Come on, what else is going on here? We've got some pieces around here somewhere. Wait, is this? Is this? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that goes like right there, doesn't it? That looks like it goes right there. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
Don't go there. That looks like that matches up. Let's try that. Okay, okay. We're for, we're working there. We're working the clues, solving puzzles. I think yeah. This this goes right here. Look at that. Okay. Okay. So. Give Uznov Siakubovka Alval And okay, I think I've seen that I've seen that little tippy tip. Yeah, that's that little tippy tip right there. Zewalval. We are solving solving puzzles. Um Something needs to go there. It's got like a little nose. Ah, that's a little nose. Yeah, that's a little nose, all right. There we go. Okay, okay. Um, I was really good. I remember my favorite part of the SATs, the only part of the SATs I actually liked, was when they were like, look at this shape, and this is what it's going to turn into when you turn it inside out. <laughs> or like when you fold the pieces up, it's like, what's it going to look like? And I was like, I know what that's going to look like, motherfuckers. I was real good at that. I was always real good at that. I was very it's spatial relations. That's what they call that. Um, but you know, I never really liked puzzles as a kid. Um, wasn't wasn't my thing. Um, I think because I was always frustrated by the fact that like then now once you're done with it, like what do you do? Like, you know, it's like okay, well we're done with the puzzle now. Mm. Go there. It could go there. I think that goes. No, that doesn't go there. Unless does it go? No, it doesn't. It doesn't line up right. It kind of looks like it goes there. So I'm gonna put that there for now. But then I have nothing. Nothing really matches over there. Hmm. Remove these. Oh, wait, I could, what am I doing? I can move the whole thing out to the side. That's so much easier than what I've been doing. Um, look, I said I was good at spatial relations, not making sense of bullshit. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, look, 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 look. It's like this. Yeah. <laughs> See? Yeah, I'm doing stuff. Solving, solving crimes and shit. And then this goes right here. So this doesn't go there, I don't think. At least not the way we had it. Okay, this, that I think goes like right there. Hmm. So this all need to come down a little bit. I wish I could drag and drop it to just come down a little bit. I think the note is smaller than I originally looked at, maybe, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so the note is the note is smaller, I think, than I had originally kind of scoped it out for because that piece is definitely gonna go there. And then this is gonna come down here. Like that, like that. I think their little arrow, their little like markers like threw me off, is what it I also think um, in modern games, this is like all form up like Voltron, like and like line up perfectly when you get the right piece and pieces would lock in place and we don't do that now. It'd be like, yeah, you're 90% of the way there. So we'll just lock you in. Yeah, so like chunk, okay. And I guess we just really have to be able to translate it, right? It's not. It's not too bad. Okay, so this, I guess it's going to go there. Um, hmm. No. No, no. Hmm. I, guess that, I guess that goes there. Oh, okay, yeah, and then... No, that's not it. This one. Yeah, there we go. That doesn't line up so perfectly, but that's okay because in real life, when you tear paper and stuff, it doesn't line up so perfectly. There we go. And then there. And then this guy goes here. 
And then this one goes boom. Look at that. That completes it. Now that it's assembled, I think I'll glue the pieces together so they won't move. <laughs> oh, okay, it did, it did kind of put it together for us. That's nice of them. All right, now can we combine it with the note from Francesca to, to, to make it a cipher? Encoded note, there we go. Now let's examine, oh, no, I don't want to cancel. I want to see hints. I want to examine the okay move the cursor over any green letter then press the key on the keyboard to change the letter but I want <laughs> Why aren't you giving me? Okay. Hmm. Oh, does it already, did it already give us? So that was. Hmm. Oh, do we all even have the encoded note anymore? Okay. Um, all right. So I guess. Hmm. They're really gonna make me solve this myself, huh? my cursor not working so good anymore there we go <laughs> this is an old fidgety game in dos box it's not it's not working so good um Okay, so Z is A, C is S. Oh wait, this C is G. Okay, so it's G, 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 A, L. That really didn't help us all that much. Okay. What if L is T? Because there's a lot of, uh, uh, and the only thing I can think of is it's either an N. Do we have an N yet? And there's not that many uses of an. Uh, Alua. Love. Is it at the? Because that's a T, that's a T. V. We've got a lot of V's. So we're doing, like, yeah, I think, I think, I think that's a T. And then at, and then I think this is the. So D is E. Let's see what do we get. Ye Hain. Ye Hain. This is, this is a Welsh name. Siaf Wobethid. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, okay, look, gate. The... That's an N. This is golden. Okay, 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 look at this. Ye... Is this have? This has got to be have, because it's the only other word it could be. Oh, okay. A, that's today. Today. Um, th 
at the this is is it on Chanti con C A G is it charity oh no it's in Wait, yeah, that's okay. So that's okay. So well, it's got to be with. Okay, so we have con, not confined, con, con confirmed. Confirmed. Oh, we have confirmed your appoint. Don't ignore uh, point. We have confirmed your appointment with ch God damn it. chastity. We have confirmed your appointment with chastity at the suite in the Golden Gate Hotel at the usual time. The password today is silicon. Chastity. Gotta love it. Okay, so coded messages from your escort service on loose leaf paper. <laughs> We're doing this on like some loose leaf three hole punch paper. Good job, Tex. Okay, so we've we solved the note. Okay, so we gotta go to the Golden Gate Hotel at the usual time. What's the usual time? Um, is that, it's the Golden Gate Hotel over there, right? Yeah, yeah, Golden Gate Hotel. We're going to the Golden Gate Hotel, y'all. We're going to meet Chastity. This guy comes up to me and says he don't like you hanging around here. So he gives me a bunch of money and says he'll pay me more if I keep you out of here until he goes away. <laughs> Boy, word travels fast. Sal must have heard I was working for Franny. I heard Sal visits here a lot, and I'd like to get inside and look around, but Arda won't let me in. Maybe he'd let someone else in, though. Arda won't let me in, so maybe let someone else in. Okay. Who's he going to let in? Hmm. Wait. But then I, but then I inventory. I want to check my inventory. Oh, wait. Okay. What about, what about Inspector Burns? I want to use Inspector Burns mask. How do I wear it? Hmm. Okay, I can't go wear it with that. Spectre Burns. Are we, are we missing part of the costume? I, I want to use it. I want to wear the Inspector Burns. Use. Hmm. Where do we where do we get the burns mask from? Uh, over here. Jeez, I hate I hate maneuvering like this. else in here then we put it I thought we, we put it on we had like a scarecrow 
out of no it's a clown suit Whoa, the glow on the dark, rusty clown doll looks pretty spooky dangling up there in the dark. Okay, it's, 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 it's a clown doll. Okay, that's... What is he? Victor Burns had... We need... We need another piece of this to make a full costume. We gotta... We gotta really disguise Tex. Otto's not gonna, Otto's not gonna let us in because he's... He's like, no, I know. God, that's terrifying. Jesus. Okay, so nothing's here. Hmm. Because I remember, I remember Ardo was super into Inspector Burns. We've got the mask. But we can't just go around as. It's. Hiya, matey! I can't help you there. Okay. Hmm. That was me going like, isn't the Quait, because it's the Quait Tower, right, over there? I think that's the Quait Tower. Um, but like, is that a, a, it's a monument to firefighters, <laughs> which Inspector Burns, I thought was a firefighter. So we gotta, there's not anything in the magic shop. Is there? It's Rusty's, it's Rusty's jokes, balloons, it's Rusty's entrance. Let's go inside, see what he's got. We got a bunch of masks in here, so maybe there's. Oh, there really <laughs> I can maneuver in literally any other way but this. What's in these boxes? Apparently, Rusty was very fond of empty cardboard boxes. Oh, that's not helpful. Rusty, you piece of shit. <clears throat> no, there's nothing back in there. Well, where are we supposed to get the other part of this disguise? Okay, this is too annoying. I have to go look up. <laughs> I'm just gonna look it up because this is too ridiculous. Um, Oh, okay, it was in there. We were right the first time around. Now, if only I can get this, sh there we go. Now, okay, so it looks like it was in the one place. Acme Warehouse. Crate smells like laundry soap. Crate in front on the floor seems to be partially opened. Crate smells like laundry
Great smells. Great smells like lo Okay, did we open it or what? I love this. There we go. There we go. I knew I was like, I was like, something, something's wrong here. Okay. Now let's use Inspector Brent. Come on, how do we examine? Oh God. Okay, maybe we just need to have it. All right, let's just let's see if that worked. We just have it on our on our person. Since using it doesn't seem to actually do anything. Now I've got an Inspector Burns disguise that would fool his own mother. It certainly ought to do the trick on a goofball like Ardo. <clears throat> it's my hero, Inspector Burns. What a, what a guy. Okay, so we can take the authoritative approach, the heartwarming approach, or Inspector Burns' scum bucket. I'm not, I'm not, no, let's, let's not. And you this. must be Fire Ranger Ardo, oh. my biggest fan in the entire world. <laughs> yes, sir, Inspector Burns. You must have got the letter I sent you. Well, of course I did, Ardo. You know, I read all my fan letters. I know you do, Inspector Burns. You're the best. Well, I'm all ready to inspect the hotel for fire safety. Get right down to business, macho work ethic, or insulting observation. We don't want to insult Ardo. Let's, let's do... Let's, let's get right into business. Well, that's fine, Ardo. Open up those doors for me, and I'll inspect your hotel rooms. All right. I'll open the doors, Inspector Burns. <laughs> After a few minutes, I find the door to the Regency Escort Service Hotel Suite. The door's locked, but there's a security panel on the wall beside it. Looks like it requires a password. Oh, we know the password, though, because we, we solved the puzzle. So this is the Regency Escort Service Love Suite. Now that I'm in, I'll need to find something to prove that Sal's been a frequent customer. This is a terrible Sims home. I'm starting to think this painting's following me around. Oh, we get new music. We get swanky lounge music. So let's take a look. Oh, it's some, this is some art. Like the wallpaper. Well, this appears to be a very poor copy of Monet's Drowning Frogs. <laughs> just moving paintings around. That's so good. We're just going to leave them. I'd call this one, Two Girls Bothered by Ants on a Picnic. Good job, Tex. This must be titled, Mishap on the High Seas. A twisty board game. I used to play this as a kid. I wonder what the escort girls do with it. God damn it. Twisty. Nice, boring, but not. Nice. 
Plastic plants, as always, add that special touch to a room. I like some of the, we're just sliding the paintings down. Not really moving them, per se. I mean, it's moving them after a fashion. Ah. A list of names. All female. Looks like Sal's a regular here at the Love Suite. Come on, Lily. Okay, so... Hmm. Sal's Conquest. So these are all Sal's. Okay. A list of names. All female. We're not taking it, so it's okay. <laughs> Slide it back up. This looks like a switch of some kind. Probably has something to do with the lights. Let's switch it. Oh, we can't switch it. And some columns. Looks like they're made out of marble. The air vents keep the room right at room temperature. Someone thought they were really funny for writing that. Man now wishing he hadn't gotten drunk and challenged the other guy to a duel for insulting Rosie, the toothless wench with the heart of gold. Nice cathedral. Girls looking for contact lens. Okay, we've now shifted all the paintings in A this room. A book about the history of the Golden Gate Hotel. Hmm. Looks fascinating. It's a big book. Okay, so. I guess let's, let's go this way. That hot tub actually looks like it might be fun. Or maybe too much fun. Let's move those towels. Looks like a couple of objects have fallen into the drain that screwdriver, I could undo the screws on this drain cover and get that roll of film. Oh, there's nothing like a fluffy, downy-scented towel. That screwdriver. What's floating in the hot tub? Looks like someone left their shorts in the hot tub. Okay, I think I'll shorts. leave them right where they are. Okay. Fine. <laughs> this is drinking Budweiser. Beer cans. Oh, they're empty. Sliding around all over the place. What is, what is these? Something in there. Someone's dropped a cork into this mounted base. The opening's too narrow to get my hand in. I'd break it, but it looks like it's made out of ceramide, that new unbreakable plastic. The cork looks like a typical champagne cork with some wire mesh on it. Hmm. Wire mesh. What? Okay, sure.
So there's a screwdriver so, in there. Yeah, the towel smells like mildew and fine hops. Hmm. So there's a screwdriver and a roll of film, but they're both under the green tea. So we can't can't get to that. We can't get to the cork. So we're gonna have to find a way to First we have to find a way to get the cork, I guess, because now we're gonna use the the wire mesh of the cork to get the 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 thing of a bob. Let's go to the piano room. Piano room. Oh, okay, look, it's a piano. Let's look at that. Hmm, a piece of sheet music. Let's see. Lucido Lamour. Must be Western music. Hmm. Oh, text, don't play the piano. Good evening, ladies and germs. I'm your entertainer tonight, Mr. Franco Spinoza. I'm going to be playing some songs that I know you'll love. Listen to this one. Um, in incredible. A Larson Grand Piano. Wow. That's even better than a Stoffway. No, oh, don't play the piano again, Tex. Good evening. No. Thought you might be opening it or something. Is there anything, anything around here? Oh, it's, it's that over there on the wall. That looks like a thing. But I can't get to it because the piano's in the way. We gotta... I'm really... I'm dying at the perspective of, like, the rooms next door. Because it feels like the, like, the, the floor bends at this weird angle. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. What is, what is this? What is this? Oh, a Passion's Breath room deodorizer. Okay. Mm, it smells terrible, but it's got a magnet on it. The magnets can be handy. For the wire mesh. That's that's what we'll do. Wire mesh. Ah, a French door. No, let's open the doors, Tax. Jesus. Okay. Okay, go back over here to the hot tub. We're gonna use the magnet. Well, that's not gonna work. Well, that's not gonna. Well, that's. Well, that's not. Well, that's not gonna. Okay, fine. Maybe it'll work on the screwdriver. Well, that's not gonna work. Well, that's not gonna work. Well, that's not gonna. Okay, fine, Jesus. Hmm. Okay, that didn't work. What if we float the cork? What if we? What if we? What if we just put water from the hot tub in the cork jar or something? Here, we'll go in here and get this glass of water. God damn it. This navigation is getting very tiring. Okay, where is the customary garbage glass on the nightstand? Like, the, there's, it's a hotel room, for God's sakes. Should have a coffee maker and some, some ugly glasses and an ice bucket on the credenza. Someone take it with them? Did you did you, someone take the glass? Where's the mini bar? Looks like the upper left drawer is locked. I'll bet I could open it if I had something to pick the lock. The wire. That's what we need the wire for. 
I don't think I ought to open that credenza. It might be full of Sal's underwear. Hmm. The nightstands balance the bed nicely. I love symmetry. The nightstands... Uh, frilly panties. I hope they aren't Sal's. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's last month's Playbub magazine. It's like it's stuck inside the drawer. Playbub. There's a glass. Okay. Got this. Oh my god. <laughs> I think the, the puzzles are actually like kind of straightforward now and then the m movement is just not straightforward at all. But we got this. We're going to we're going to use this 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 wine glass on some hot tub water. And we're going <laughs> to we're going to float off into nothing that Imagine if this was the interface for like, um, was it the Sandra Bullock movie Gravity? Like this is the the the, the movie of Gravity, and we had to use um, we had to use this, these controls. Okay. I am so glad that the game is just giving us a video of text doing this instead of making me walk back and forth between the hot tub and the jar a million times to do this myself. I also can't believe As I fill up the mounted vase, the champagne cork flows to the top. I'm just going to reach in and pick it up. Thanks, Tex. Um, now let's examine, I guess. Examine this. Just get this piece of wire. There we, there we go. Okay. So we got wire now. So pick the lock or get the screwdriver. Let's try the screwdriver first since we're just already right here. Well, that's not gonna work. Well, that's not. Well, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Tech said, Tech said repeatedly that that's not gonna work, so. This is, okay, I'm gonna change our view. So let's go try and pick the lock. How did anyone play this game back in the day with these controls? I guess they just didn't know better. That was easy. I love finding unlocked drawers. <laughs> Come on, I want to get the string. God damn it. <laughs> this is the most frustrating. Why is it closed again? We didn't close it. Y'all. <laughs> okay, hold on. Is there... 
There has got to be a way to chill this the fuck out. Low. Low sensitivity. <laughs> okay. I don't know if this is all that much better, but... Let's find out. I got shoelaces. Combine the shoelace and the magnet. I don't think those things combine. No. But now we have a magnet on a string. So there we go. We solved we solved that puzzle. These doors need to stop closing. No, it's, it's the movement. It's better, but it's not. It's still not acceptable. All right, we're gonna use the magnet on a string now. I don't. I don't feel that that really works. But okay, sure. Now let's use the screwdriver. Now I just need to get. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use the screwdriver. Now I have a roll of film. Where do I get film developed? The whole world is radioactive. How do I get film developed? Maybe it does, yes. <laughs> okay, well. We got film. So okay, we went in that room, we went in that room, we went in that, in that room, we saw the twister, we saw Sal's names, we got film. I think we're done here. Where did film developed? Where the fuck do you get film developed in the 20 something century when everything's gone to shit? Tex doesn't have a dark room. Balloons, game, funds, and mask. The electronic shop? No, that's not. The newsstand. The pawn shop? Let's go talk. Let's go talk to Fran. Well, gorgeous, you're back. <laughs> Did you get the evidence I need? Okay, I'm working on it, but I need some help from you. I thought you understood the terms of our agreement. Get the scoop on my husband, or you won't get any help from me. Okay, fine. Let's go to the electronic shop. I don't know. Maybe he's got film developer. This is the brand new... This is the brand new electronic shop outlet. No pun intended. Okay, well, how do I how do we get back in it? This is the brand new This is the brand new electronic shop. Well, that's not gonna work. Okay, sure. I don't know what. <laughs> oh, that's helpful. I can't get that while the force field is up. Okay, fine. I see. The. Keep using that credit card tax. We got a film developing kit. Photo Max Pro. Photo Max Pro. Let's look, let's look. Hold on, I want to examine. 
A photomatic pro. Look at that. Okay, well, let's combine that with our film. That'll develop some film for us. And now we have incriminating photos of Sal. So let's... These pictures are sick. Francesca will be so happy. I can't, I can't with this game. Um, yeah. Okay, so we got photos of screen creating photos of Sal. I guess now we gotta go talk to Francesca and then she'll tell us I don't want to leave. Let me go. <laughs> Let me get out of there. Okay. Um, over here to French. God. Controls. Okay. Can I get out of here? Okay, Tex. So what have you got for me? Okay. We got photos of Sal. Excellent. This will do the job nicely. <laughs> I'll answer all your questions now. Okay. Tell me about the fucking mugging. I was up late having some espresso, then I saw you get jumped. The guy who hit you was real small, maybe a 5'6", 130 pounds. I didn't see his face. He took your package you were carrying, then ran off. It looked like a professional hit, but he wasn't trying to kill you. Believe me, if he wanted to, he could have. After the first guy took off, I saw another guy come running down from your office. He bent over you and went through your coat. Then he ran off too. I recognized the second guy. He was a mutant named Pug. In the fact, I remember seeing him hanging around your office for the past few days. Anyway, I went over to make sure you were okay. Sal showed up a few minutes later and I made him carry you up to your office. That's all I know. Pug. Pug the mutant. Pug is ugly as sin and smells like he sleeps in a latrine. On and off for the past week or so, I've seen him keeping an eye on your office. Okay. Is that, is that all you got about Pug? Pug is ugly as sin and okay. smell. That's all you got about Pug. <sighs> okay, so he sleeps outside my office. I don't see him anywhere. Maybe, maybe, maybe you know. Do you know about Pug? Pug. How can I help you, Tex? Well, tell me about Pug. That's what we want to know. People want to know about Pug. Sorry, I haven't heard anything about that. He sleeps outside my office. Come on. Okay, fine. We're going to go talk to the other mutant. The other, like, like turbo weirdo mutant we know is Beak. Hey, Amazie. Hey, Beak. Beak, tell me about Pug. You got to know about uh, Pug. Pug and I used to hang out sometimes. Yeah. But I haven't seen him for a while. I heard he's gotten a job of some kind. He doesn't work very often and he usually sleeps in a box down by the Snow White warehouse. Okay. Following Beak's instructions, I hang around the warehouse. Not long after, a gust of wind carries a horrible stench into my nasal passages. I turn and see a shadowy figure waddle into the alley. The way you look at me, it makes me nervous. <laughs> That's Pug. Ominously pleasant, not in the mood for small talk, or king of pain. Ominously pleasant. Oh, don't get me wrong, Pug. I'm here for a friendly chat. You mean, you're not there to hurt me. 
Well, I might be beat you to a bloody pulp. Or you can be sensible and just return my wallet. Why are you treating me like I'm some kind of criminal? Wait, wait. <laughs> because I can't justify treating you like a lady. You're a cynical person, if you'll forgive my saying so. Bogart retort. Okay, I forgive you. Now, would you please just hand over my wallet? Here is your wallet. You will see I have spent very little of your money. What's it this weird Tell Peter Lorre character? How did you find me? Okay. Um. I was downwind, El Stinko. Well, pardon me. I'll go take a bath. Not so fast. I found out a lot about you, including the fact that you were tailing me. I was hired to follow you. I provide people with information through ways of my own. <laughs> oh, and stealing my wallet was in the job description. No, I'm just looking for ways to make extra money. <laughs> I was hired by an old P.I. who called himself the Colonel. He paid me to follow you and report back on everyone I saw you talk to. He also wanted me to tell him if I saw you with a little statue of a bird. He told me very little else, though he said that he had to find out if you could be trusted. There, I have told you everything I know. Now let me go and I shall not bother you again. Okay. Well, just going to the colonel's office. The colonel was my mentor in the detective biz. When I was a young, idealistic crime fighter, I didn't understand some of the colonel's unethical PI methods. I reported the colonel to the PI licensing board and his license was temporarily revoked. In the years since, I've come to understand and even occasionally use the colonel's questionable methods, but we've never made up. I haven't seen the colonel's office since we fell out 15 years ago. From the look of the exterior, the colonel's kept it up nicely. I knock on the door and it swings open. The place is trashed. I guess I'm gonna have to put off that trip to the Caribbean. <coughs> Maybe permanently. My God, what happened? Who did this to you? A chameleon. Uh, he's some kind of shapeshifter. I swear he's the devil himself. What did he want? Why did he attack you? <laughs> Why have oh, we done this video? He this thought way? I had it. When he found out I didn't, he tried to torture Wait. me and to tell him where it was. Yeah, yeah, he got stuck a knife it's in like my we chest. Did it. I must have passed out. I didn't get enough sleep last night. No, I didn't get enough sleep last night. No. What was he looking for? Ah, oh, the winter chip. The cult wants it. They're planning a doomsday party. They're afraid whoever's got the chip might stop them. You're going to have to find it and get it to Capricorn. Yeah, they know what to do with it. But I don't know where to look. You gotta give me some help. Uh, there's no time. There's a disc by the bookcase. It's got information on that winter chip. Oh, the winter chip? I think it's a weather chip. I hope to God you've learned something after all these years. <laughs> I fly the colonel to the hospital and the attendants rush him into surgery but won't tell me what his chances are. I know I should go and search the colonel's office for the disc he referred to, but I'm having a hard time keeping my eyelids popped open. I decide to go back to my office for a couple of hours of shut-eye. As I open the door, I catch a whiff of expensive perfume, then feel my jaw slam into a brick wall. When my vision clears, I'm seated across from a beautiful oriental woman with matching goons on either side of me. Damn, Good just... evening, Mr. Murphy. Oh, no. Please, have a seat. Good nature is extremely... 
Oh no, this music. Oh my god. I need a minute. Oh my god, y'all. Jesus. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I feel extremely upset and violated by this. Why did it? Well, who the hell are you and what are you doing in my office? <laughs> you are either braver or more foolish than I thought. No one talks to Eddie Ching like that. Manly retort. Play stupid and manly. Apologetically surprised. Why are we doing this, DOS box? You're Eddie Ching? Sorry, I didn't realize who you were. I like that tone of voice. Now sit down quietly and listen to me. Okay, if you promise not to let your large friends here break my legs. I'm glad you understand the situation, Mr. Murphy. I have learned that you were hired to steal a statuette for my apartment. I admire the skill you display in doing so, but I must now ask you to return the bird to me. Oh, we'll have it. Look, I swear, I swear on my mother's grave I don't have it. Someone mugged me last night and stole it. Please don't kill me. Please, I'll do anything, but don't kill me! It's gone? You imbecile! Have you no idea what you've done? You were set up. The person who hired you belongs to a group so powerful they may hold the fate of the world in their hands. The statuette is worthless, except to this cult. And I went to great lengths to keep it from them. And all it took was one idiotic P.I. to give these fanatics the talisman they need to lose the demons of hell upon the earth. Okay. I'm sorry, who knew? You obviously don't understand what I'm saying. With the statuette, the cult will fulfill its prophecies, unleashing an unimaginable flood of destruction. The prophecy is supposed to be fulfilled in six days. If the statuette is not recovered before then, nothing will matter. What are these gestures we'll she's doing dead. with her arms? I really, some of the, the aesthetic choices we've made here, like this shot, um, for no reason. <clears throat> like, I don't, I just, I don't understand, but it's wonderful that they tried. They tried so many things. You mean to tell me the world is going to end on Thursday? Damn it! I don't get my unemployment check till Friday. The cult knows about me. They tried several times to steal the statuette once they learned I had it. They will not allow me or my operatives to obstruct their plans. You, however, they do not consider to be a threat. The cult is behind the crusade for genetic purity. I don't know any more than what I've told you, except for the identity of the man who set you up. He is known as the Chameleon. If you can find him, you will be within reach of the statuette. You should realize that your blunder makes you responsible for 10 billion lives. Hope for your own sake that you can succeed where more powerful people cannot. Let this be a reminder to you not to repeat your mistakes. If you fail, I will see you in hell. <laughs> So, did he have the chip or not? I never found out. My usual methods of persuasion weren't working. So I had to get a little more forceful. Next thing I know is Light Squad. I think I killed him. Dead men don't help us. We've got to find out about that chip. If the Colonel didn't have the chip, then he probably sent it to Murphy. Stick around and keep tabs on him until the last second. But don't kill him. If the chip doesn't show up, make sure Murphy doesn't blunder into our path. If you find the chip, 
destroy it. Then you can do what you want with Murphy. Well then. Uh, maybe I need a career change. Two days in a row waking up in a semi-conscious stupor is enough for anybody. My nose is so sore, my eyes water when I inhale, this and all my front teeth death. shift slightly when I exhale. On top of all this, I found out that the world population could be annihilated because of me. That's just too much guilt to heap on a guy at this hour of the morning. <laughs> Looks like I'm on my own. I'll need to find that disc the Colonel referred to. And what about that Countess? Was she on the level or was she just feeding me a line? Well, okay, we're at the start of day four. We have had some some big revelations. Um, and we get we, we closed off the end of last last the last day with some big racism. <laughs> Um, so I think that's an episode and, um, yeah, thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, welcome back. Um, and, uh, we'll, we'll try to make this more frequent, um, because I have to find out just why, why all of this matters, um, in the end. <sighs> this is such a game.